Hello, I'm Magama, and today I'm gonna make hot chocolate because making the focaccia video got ruined and the cookie video got ruined. Either way, what you're gonna need is a pot of milk. I don't measure things. <laughs> so it's a, so what I did is I'm making a cup for husband and I, and I filled it up to how much we want in each cup, and then I dumped it in there. There's also um, vanilla and dark chocolate. And then this is cocoa and sh sugar in a cup. I didn't measure it. There's also some salt. Uh, I'm just going to put a pinch in. My husband wants peppermint, so I'm going to grind up some peppermint <coughs> with the mortar and pestle. And this is one. This is the chocolate that I use. It's pretty good. It doesn't have dairy in it. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this... I'm going to put it on like a, I don't know, meaty air. I'll put it on whatever the hell that is. It's like a... It's like a medium-ish. Medium. Alright, <clears throat> so I'm going to get my milk up to a temperature. And uh, while it does that, what I did is I took a quarter cup... It's like a little less cocoa, a little bit more sugar. Because I'm also going to be using actual chocolate. And sometimes I don't even use the cocoa and sugar. I just use the chocolate, but I'm using a very bitter chocolate. Now this is our gamma's half-ass cooking. Normally I measure things. But I already made a whole bunch of shit and I recorded it and it all got fucked up. So now I'm kind of just like, eh, something quick and easy. Um, and normally, I don't even measure this. I just have, like, spoons out, and I just kind of dump them until whatever. But I figured, you know, you kind of see it a little bit. All right, this is starting to get a little bit hot. I'm holding with my wrong hand, so. And I have my other hand in front of things. Focus! Focus! Yeah. that. I'm just gonna, you know, dump it all in. enough. I'm going to grab the salt. And I'm actually just going to uh, grab a pinch of salt. My, my... I'm going gonna, gonna to stir it together now. And you can whisk it. But uh, I'm just using a wooden fucking spoon because I don't know because I don't know and I don't care I'm also going to add like a little bit of uh, vanilla sure that looks amazing good sometimes I get hot cocoa at their yeah hot cocoa at the um, gas stations and I'll put in a french vanilla creamer because it just makes it go mm. Right now, some steam's coming off the edge. Um, I'm gonna kind of just shake in my chocolate. I don't want it to splash too much. And this I just do to taste. I'm just gonna melt it in. I might add a little bit more. I don't know. In fact, I've made it without ever adding cocoa and sugar into it. And I use just chips. Like, I know you can chop up your own chocolate, but... Ma'am! I'm lazy. Keep stirring. You don't want to film. I don't want it to boil. Trying some. It's pretty good. Needs more cocoa. Okay, I've added a little bit more sugar, like a couple tablespoons of sugar and some more cocoa. Cocoa. Some more chocolate, hot, the dark chocolate. 
And I've made this with almond milk before because I don't always do well with regular milk. In fact, this is this is a 1%. And it's fine. Do whatever is good for you. My tummy doesn't always like the uh, whole milk. peppermint pieces. I bought this this mortar and pestle over at Ikea. If I drop this thing it's gonna go through the world and it's gonna punch some poor person in the face on the other side of the world. This is a beast of a fucking thing. Normally I'd add peppermint extract but it doesn't look like it made it with me to the move. Also, sometimes I have chili oil, and I'll add chili oil to my chocolate, because, you know. Sorry, I'm not really recording this very well, because it's hard. I'm going to put this down. Okay, so I've, um, mortar and pestle it into a powder. Mom, put two teaspoons. It's just like the cup's a little wet because I rinse out my cup. Okay, so I uh, kept taste testing it, um, and got it to how I like it. So it's it's dark chocolate. It's still a little sweet. I added a little extra sugar, and now I got to attempt to pour it into these cups. I think I just cleaned my counters. Oops. I spilled some. Okay. Um. There. Sorry, I had to rush the pan over because I didn't want it to stick. As you can see... My cups are starting to change colors. This one already changed colors. I'm giving this a mix. This is the one with the peppermint in it. A little taste. Mmm. A little peppermint could probably use some more. So, I added some more peppermint, crushed peppermint candies to this one. You can see a little bit still in front. Give it a stir, make sure it's all. Next, you know how thick that is. Look how thick that is. Right, I'm giving it a little taste. Um, so these are my spices, and I've decided for my flavors, I'm going to have a uh, cardamom, cinnamon, nutmeg, and cloves. You're know, looking at like an eighth to a sixteenth of a teaspoon of each. Like, I'm not trying to overpower the chocolate here. All right, and then I just kind of like. Give it a mixy mix. Mixy mix. Pop these off. Marshmallows, because what are we heathens here? Also, I dropped a marshmallow. Fuck. Yep, they're not the prettiest goddamn thing. But they're definitely more delicious than anything you'll get from a package a Swiss Miss package or anything like that. Make your own. Use some leftover chocolate chips from cookies. Or make half a batch of chocolate chips and then you can make a round of cocos with the other half. And then you have cocoa and cookies. What a quick paw. <laughs> Whatever. I'm going to go enjoy this with my husband. Um, yeah, that's it. That's how I make cocoa. Uh, hot chocolate, actually. Okay, goodbye.